Together we pray, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For our faith. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For our hope. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The First Joyful Mystery The Annunciation Fruit of the Mystery Humility Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The Second Joyful Mystery The Visitation Fruit of the Mystery Love of Neighbor Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The Third Joyful Mystery, The Nativity Fruit of the Mystery, Poverty of Spirit Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation, fruit of the mystery, obedience. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The Fifth Joyful Mystery the finding in the temple, fruit of the mystery, piety. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to St. Anthony of Padua in Las Vegas. We thank you for joining us this morning on our first Saturday celebration, April 1st, 2023. Before Mass begins, I do ask that you please double check that your cell phone is in the silent mode. Please make sure that you do not have any alarms set to go off. If you are listening to the stream at home or you're on your way to the church, please be advised that Centennial is closed down. You will need to enter off of Fort Apache. Let us rise and pray together St. Francis's Prayer for Peace. Lord, make, make me, me an instrument, instrument of, of your peace. peace. Where, Where there, there is, is hatred, hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Our celebrant for Mass this morning is our parochial administrator, Father Tam. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My beloved friends, on this first Saturday of the month of April, we are gathered here to thank our blessed Lord, thanking our God for the gift of our blessed Mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, who continues to be our greatest support, our greatest intercessor before God. We pray, especially as we near very close to the Holy Week, the sufferings and the pains of Jesus, that our Blessed Mother will continue to intercede for us in our own pains and sorrows and journeys of life, 
that like Jesus, we too will carry our cross to the end and be able to be victorious at the end of the day. We pray for the Fatima group that they will continue to grow in their devotion and indeed for all of us gathered here. Let us pause for a moment, recall our sins and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary of a virgin, all you angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And of course, we know that the special intention for this Mass, uh, for the, the names that will be put on the slide eventually uh, through the course of this celebration. So we pray for all those intentions and names that our blessed Lord will grant their good heart desires. Let us pray. O God, who have made all those reborn in Christ a chosen race and a royal priesthood, grant us, we pray, the grace to will and to do what you command, that the people called to eternal life may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I will take the children of Israel from among the nations to which they have come, and gather them from all the sides to bring them back to their land. I will make them one nation upon one nation upon the land in the mountain of Israel, and there shall be one prince for all for them all. Never again shall they be two nations and never again shall they be divided into two kingdoms. No longer shall they defile themselves with their idols, their abominations, and all their transgressions. I will deliver them from all their sins of apostasy and cleanse them so that they may be my people and I may be their God. My servant David shall be prince over them, and there shall be one shepherd for them all. They shall live by my statutes and carefully observe my decrees. They shall live on the land that I gave to my servant Jacob, the land where their fathers lived. They shall live on it forever, they and their children and their children's children with my servant David, their prince forever. I will make with them a covenant of peace. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will multiply them and put my sanctuary upon them forever. My dwelling shall be with them. I will be their God and they shall be my people. Thus the nations shall know that it is I, the Lord, who make Israel holy, when my sanctuary shall be set up among them forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
guard us as a shepherd, a shepherd guards his sheep. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd, a shepherd guards his sheep. Hear the word of the Lord, O Proclaim it on distant dials and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd, a shepherd guards his sheep. shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd, a shepherd guard. Then the virgin shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn the morning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd, a shepherd Be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what Jesus had done began to believe in him, but some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees convened the Sanhedrin and said, What are we going to do? This man is performing many signs. If we leave him alone, all will believe in him. And the Romans will come and take away both our land and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing. Nor do you consider that it is better for you that one man should die instead of the people, so that the whole nation may not perish. He did not say this on his own, but since he was high priest for that year, he prophesied that Jesus was going to die for the nation, and not only for the nation, but also to gather into one the dispersed children of God. So from that day on, they planned to kill him. So Jesus no longer walked about in public among the Jews, but he left for the region near the desert to a town called Ephraim. And there he remained with his disciples. 
Now the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before Passover to purify themselves. They looked for Jesus and said to one another, as they were in the temple area, what do you think? That he will not come to the feast? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our blessed Lord is surely a keeper of his word. He promised he will make a new covenant after the sin of Adam and Eve. He said he will rectify that covenant so that we will be his people and he will be our God. And in making that happen, it became obvious that the blood of animals was no longer enough. To keep his promise, he sent his son to die for us. And today, Jesus, as we begin to get closer to the Holy Week, we are beginning to see that the decision to kill Jesus is solidifying. It's no longer a gossip. It's no longer a hearsay. There are serious plots, concerted effort. Decisions are being made that he had to die. But what is the role of Mary in all this? What is the role of Mary in all this? When our blessed mother presented Jesus at the temple before Simeon, do you still remember what Simeon said about Mary? He said, because of this child, a sword will pierce your soul. A day that would have been a joyful day for Mary. Could you imagine how that day ended? Presenting your beautiful, innocent child. And the priest looking at your eyes and telling you, because of this wonderful gift, your soul will be pierced. And it wasn't just a mere prophecy. It happened. How many of us know the title of Mary as Mother of Sorrows? Thank you. Because the amount of sorrows Mary went through has given us what we now call white martyrdom in the church. White martyrdom simply means you are not killed by somebody, but somehow the sorrows and the pains you go through are equal to that of a martyr. Mary went through excruciating pain. Today we're going to begin the Holy Week, Palm Sunday. And only a good mother, and of course any good person, would imagine what you feel when you have a child or a son or a daughter whose name is being paraded everywhere as a, as a troublemaker. And deep in your heart, you know that your son is innocent. Anywhere, anytime you put on the news, all you hear is, this Jesus of Nazareth is a troublemaker. You're a mother. Imagine how you feel hearing that. And the enemy is continue to increase day by day. Could you imagine what it was psychologically, what was going on in the minds of Mary at this moment? As she knew that the forces are gagging up against her only son. Remember, Mary didn't have other resources. She didn't have money. She was a local family, uh, kind of family woman. She didn't have any serious connection. She didn't belong to the high class. So she didn't have a very powerful lawyer to stand for her. She was basically alone. And at this time, evidence of the scripture tells us that Joseph is already dead. So mind you, she was alone. She was a widow at this point. No husband. And already the disciples, the close friends of Jesus, we are beginning to give signs of betrayal. So they already live in him. As of course, you're going to know that ultimately, eventually, Jesus will be left with just Mary and John when he will hang on the cross. So I want you to begin to understand what this meant for Mary. What she really went through. And from this day, as we climb the Holy Week, the excruciating pain and agony and sorrow and sleepless night Mary is going to go through. When she sees her son being slapped and stripped and beaten, which kind of mother would want to 
would endure that kind of pain. Could imagine her shouting and screaming and crying. But a lone voice. While everybody's going to say, crucify him, she might be the only voice who is going to say, he is innocent. But it's a tiny little voice. Nobody hears that voice. And that carried Mary till Jesus died, as the Bible told us. And eventually, the child she carried in Bethlehem, smiling, bubbling baby, she now carries a lifeless 33-year-old man in her body. She asked herself, what has, she, what has he done? Nothing, just being good. But thanks be to God, she also witnessed the resurrection of her son. She witnessed Jesus rise. And eventually, upon her own death, she was assumed into heaven to reign as queen of heaven and earth. But the good news is not that she only identified with the sorrows of Jesus. Over the years, we also have seen that Mary accompanies us in her own sorrows. She understood what it meant to be betrayed, to be abandoned, to be in pain, to be isolated. And that is why it is very important, not just as Catholics, but every sincere Christian to beckon on Mary. She understands. Whatever we go through, whatever pain and sorrow and agony, it is easy to say, our lady of sorrow, come to my help. You knew what it means for your heart to be broken. And so I think this, for me, is the picture of Mary we need to have within this holy week. A sorrowful mother who continues to talk to Jesus on our behalf because she understands what we go through. So in your own moments of lowness, in your own moments of pain and agony, call upon Mary. That her tiny voice is no longer tiny. It's now a huge voice in heaven. She is now a powerful intercessor sitting in heaven praying for us. Call upon her. We have seen evidences of that. Anyone who fly unto her protection, implore her aid, will never be deserted. Let us ask our blessed mother, our lady of sorrow, to pray for us, to intercede for us, that as we devote and pour our life journey unto her, may she lift them up to her son Jesus, and through her intercession, may we run our race faithfully, and even if we die in the process, may we also resurrect again to be with her and her son in heaven through Christ our Lord. Let us stand and pray. Let us offer our prayers with confidence that God will deliver us from all that is evil. We pray for Pope Francis. We also thank God as the Holy Father is recovering seriously. And we also pray for all the clergy. May the Lord bless them and keep them close to his side as they shepherd his people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For public officials, may the Holy Spirit guide them in concern for the common good and inspire their service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer from any burden, may Christ bring them relief and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For this community of believers, may the Lord confirm us ever more closely to his heart in all we do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may they soon see God's face to face. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a continuous growth in our devotion to our blessed mother, especially to her as a mother of sorrows, to know that in our pains and agony, in our tribulations, she's always a ready hand we can call upon. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, hear the prayers of your children that we bring to you today. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tui in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tu. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, 
Pray, my dear friends, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the gift we offer from our fasting be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray. And as an expiation for our sins, may they make us worthy of your grace and lead us to what you promise for eternity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exhortation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Amen. 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Judge Leo, our bishop, Gregory, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Anthony of Padua, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. May Mary to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another the peace of Christ. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to life everlasting.
Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us now take the consecration prayer before the final blessings. Act of consecration to the sacred heart of Jesus. Most sweet Jesus, redeemer of the human race, look down upon us, humbly prostrate before your altar. We are yours, and yours we wish to be. But to be more surely united with you, behold, each of us freely consecrates ourselves today to your most sacred heart. To the Immaculate Heart of Mary, O Virgin of Fatima, Mother of Mercy, Queen of Heaven and Earth, Refuge of Sinners, we consecrate ourselves to your Immaculate Heart. We renew the vows of our baptism. We renounce Satan forever and give ourselves entirely to Jesus Christ. In the presence of all the heavenly court, we choose this day for our mother we, we offer and consecrate to you our body and soul and all our actions and thoughts for the greater glory of God in time and in eternity. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain now and forever. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. This Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. Amen.